Or you're gonna stand it on end. Oh. Do you know where my three eighths dry tin is? Five one hundred inch pounds. Okay, so how many foot pounds is that? Rocket science. Come on. Uh, a hundred divided by twelve. Very good. And the answer is less than ten. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean take them out? Like on a date? <laughs> Cylinder exhaust flywheel bolt, intake manifold bolt, oil pan baffle nuts, oil pan to crankcase nut bolts. That's the one. Oil pan to crankcase nut bolts, 5.7 liter. Are we looking at nuts or bolts? Uh, bolts. Okay, bolts are 97 inch pounds. 80 foot pounds for the four bolt main inner bolts of an 88 through 95. Okay, oil pump bolt is 65 foot pounds. Oil pan baffle nuts, 26 foot pounds. Hey Frank, I feel like we should make the bed bigger for winter so you don't have to be so close to the doors, eh? Yeah? You want to sleep the other way? We should do that. Well, good day. Today is the autumn equinox and to celebrate, I'm doing a huge van cleaning and adding in the extra piece of my bed, which you've never seen. But when I built my van, I built in these uh, little kind of edges here <laughs> into the shelving. And so I actually have a piece of plywood and foam that just fits right in here. And instead of sleeping across the back and having a crammed little space, I actually have quite a huge bed. So there was many times this summer in the heat where I was wishing I had the extension here because I wanted to be able to spread out more and I just felt so crammed in a tiny space, even with Frank always choosing to sleep on the floor. So I figure it'll be a nice treat for winter to have more blanketed cuddle space for me and Frank. Yeah, just like doing all sorts of cleaning. You can see it's like quite a mess right now. And um yeah, I'm just prepping the other piece of my bed outside with a tea tree oil treatment to help prevent mold because unfortunately I had a pretty bad outbreak last year and I just want to avoid that. And I'm going to have to add these uh, cedar slats to the other piece of plywood, but that probably won't happen for a few days. But because I'm in the middle of the engine build, my van is up on jacks and it's like quite a bad slope. And Frank's been sliding into the back doors and like into the crack there. So I just want to get that extra piece on here uh, sooner than later. And then I will have to do some improvements to it later. But so when I put in the extra bed piece, I just put these uh, little bits of wood as just an extra support because I found that if say me and Frank are playing on the bed then it can flex just a little bit and I don't want to destabilize the whole shelf. <laughs> yeah so bed extension is in, bed is made, it's huge. I'm so happy to have this back. Oh. So yeah, it's going to be a super cozy winter. Oh, Frank's coming in to test it. Good boy. You heard that I said the bed was made. Yeah, look at all that space. You get to be cozy now. Yeah, good boy. Aww. You're welcome. You're welcome, bud. Aha, uh -huh. okay. There's a nut on the back side that <laughs> needs to be held in place to undo the bolt. 
but it's got this lip on here. There we go. I got the old engine mounts off and it was about the most annoying thing I've ever done on this van because there is a nut underneath that you can't see and is really, really hard to reach. So I don't know how I'm going to get these ones back on. Uh, yeah, it might not be me who does it, but... <laughs> Good morning. Oh, first night sleeping with the bed extension, and it, my van is on such a slope. I my head is quite a bit downhill, um, and so the the big mat that goes across has slid towards the windows, and there's a huge gap at my hips. It's not great. It's it's really not great at all, but anyways, I thought if I pin some little blocks of wood in, it'll just like act as stoppers, but I have a, Frank doesn't seem too bothered. I have a Frank butt here. <laughs> Well, I've just got back from town picking up a whole bunch of supplies uh, for Frank and the van and that kind of stuff, projects I have on the works. And before I get into doing anything productive, I'm going to go for another bike ride. It's been, I've had two days off since the last one and um, everything doesn't hurt as bad. <laughs> so I'm going to go for a smaller ride today. My mom has to go into work to do the order. So she's only gonna be there like an hour. So I'm gonna ride from here to there and then get a ride back with her so I don't have to ride uphill because I'm just not strong enough for that yet. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it'll be nice to uh, just like unwind a bit. <laughs> Well, that was great going for a bike ride. I actually would have liked to have ridden for longer, but uh, it's only 10K to my mom's work from here. And uh, I do have quite a bit to do today, starting with painting the engine. So engine paint is uh, a special paint. It's high temperature rated, so you can't just use any old paint when you're painting the block. So it's kind of limited in colors, but I did the best I could. So the engine is going to be lime green and um, it's actually kind of handy because it's going to be easier to see any oil leaks on this than if it were painted black. And I did not want to paint it Dodge Orange or Ford Blue because I feel like that's just bad luck given that this is a GMC. So uh, I have a bit of a uh emotional history with spray painting i should say before last year i was really scared of it i <laughs> felt like i was just messing up every time i tried it caused me tons of anxiety i just would like try and get a run and then just shut down and i couldn't do it but last summer working on my van um there's just like a lot of pieces that uh, ended up getting spray painted like all the insides of the door so i did that so i did end up getting enough practice to improve my can control enough that I can handle doing it. Oh yeah, I'll get better at this. 
just uh, sometimes you just gotta suck for a while before you get good at things. Some people like to be good at things all the time. It's too bad for them because miss out on some good experiences. <laughs> All right, so I am sorry about setting a bad example on that first coat. You should definitely be protecting your lungs when working with um, basically any aerosol chemical, um, like especially spray paint. So <laughs> I can feel it a little bit. That's not great. So we're going to uh, protect myself this time. Well, if you're still here, thanks for sticking with me through this kind of random and fragmented video. Uh, there's just like a bunch of little tasks that were spaced out throughout the week to prep the new motor for installation, which will happen in the next episode. And I just kind of wanted to keep it in its own because that just gets into a whole lot of stuff and you guys just got to choose places to break it up. But yeah, uh, it took... Uh, took me more than an hour to get those motor mounts out and by the time I did I was just in such a bad mood that I did not even bother to film the installation which my dad did for me. Um, I knew I would get in a mood at some point on this project and those motor mounts just they were just so frustrating because you can't get your fingers in and you can't see and it's just like one of those things where yeah I just uh, I just kind of had it but um, he showed me this really neat trick where you put tape over the back of the wrench and then you can just sit the nut in and it just holds it in place for installation. So that was a really handy trick. I thought I would share that with you if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're like, how am I gonna get this nut on the bolt? That's how you do it, you use tape. And it worked really well watching him do it. So I was glad that he took over that and I got to learn something from it. But yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for this video. So. I really appreciate you watching and if you're interested I do have a Patreon account where I've been sharing a lot of this stuff that I'm doing before you see it in videos and I've also been sharing um, the projects that I'm working on behind the scenes because I have some stuff that will be revealed in the future but the people over on Patreon already know all about it so it's been really fun over there to share things in real time and yeah so if you're interested that'd be great if you check that out. But yeah, that's it for now. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I got a really cute clip of Frank coming up for you and I appreciate you watching. So we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.